earlier in the week, we had the topic of deep text that we discussed mm -hmm. on the show. And uh, basically, you know, for those who don't remember, that's categorizing language on Facebook uh, for things like moderating application, that sort of stuff. Um, did they expand on kind of the potential of deep text and what it kind of says for the future of the Facebook experience? So, you know, they actually, I was, I was a little disappointed because they didn't actually touch on deep text. Uh, they touched on AI more broadly, but not deep text specifically. But as you said, you know, they, they're basically trying to understand everything that we as users share on Facebook. So uh, that when you say, hey, I need a ride, they can actually surface their Uber and Lyft integration and, and you can get a ride right there versus saying, oh, I just had a ride, I'm already here, you know, being able to determine the difference between those two is pretty key, right? And, mm -hmm. and they're, they're going to do that. They are making steps towards doing that. But what uh, Cheryl and, and Mike spoke about on stage was actually more bigger picture stuff. So using AI in the future to do things like uh, detect cancer and, and actually fight cancer and um, healthcare related issues, which I actually found intriguing because as of right now, you know, Facebook, as far as I know, isn't doing anything in that field, but we've heard Mark Zuckerberg talk about this as well, this idea that uh, artificial intelligence and software can really be um, what changes our healthcare system and helps us detect diseases earlier on. And so it's clear that they as a company are thinking about that. It'll be interesting to see if they actually uh, you know, come up with kind of a product or something that, that does that, or if they're simply progressing AI more broadly in hopes that that others can use what they've learned and, and advance, you know, in the healthcare industry. But I found that intriguing that they really did talk a lot about healthcare when they when they were thinking about the future of AI. For sure. Did they offer any insight on how easy or how difficult it would be to use uh, deep text for comment moderation? So they did not, but I had an interview with someone at Facebook kind of about deep text before the before they announced it and, and got a you know about a, a demo as I, I tried to retain as much as I could. This is complicated stuff, but the feeling right now is that it's only being used for two things. The first is um, that ride uh, sharing that I told you. So if you mention that you need a ride, Facebook will surface kind of a, their Uber Lyft integration in hopes that you'll get a ride. The second is, uh, you know, if you want to sell something on Facebook, um, you might say, hey, I got an old bike, and then s Facebook will see that you're trying to sell something surface. They're selling tools, which they which they have, but that not a lot of people, I think, even know about. So it's a good opportunity to kind of put that in front of people. But with the comment moderation, I mean, think about it this way. We already read things on in newsfeed and on Facebook based on an algorithm, right? An algorithm determines what shows up higher or lower, and as a result, that's the things that we see and the things that we don't see. I think what they want to do is essentially use that same idea with comments, right? So they would be able to determine uh, from the text of a comment how relevant it is to the video that, that someone left it on or the post and say, okay, uh, you know, this comment based on a, a collection of likes, uh, replies, and also just context because we, the computer algorithm, can now determine context. We're going to move that higher up or lower in the stream so that people aren't, you know, getting spammed. Uh, people aren't able to rig the system and, and put a link to something totally irrelevant at the top of the comment thread because that, of course, kills the discussion. And obviously, Facebook doesn't want to do that. So I don't necessarily, I mean, it sounds, uh, I don't want to say easy to me because they already do newsfeed stuff. It sounds similar. Um, I'm sure it's very challenging, but I think it's something they're thinking a lot about and probably going to be one of the first use cases with deep text that we see outside of the two that uh, we already mentioned. 